Watch this movie to get a better look at Tesla's new master plan. We'll look at the three main parts of the plan that will help make the world less reliant on fossil fuels. Electric cars, sun panels, batteries, and heat pumps are all ways to make electricity. We'll be talking about heat pumps and how they work, as well as Tesla's creative use of heat pumps in their electric cars. Buckle up because we're about to see the start of a new era in sustainable energy. First, make sure you subscribe to our channel and gave this video a big thumbs up. Now, sit back, relax, and let's begin. Tesla has always wanted to speed up the world's transition to sustainable energy, and in part three of its master plan. The company has identified three key technologies, electric cars, sun panels, batteries and heat pumps are all ways to make electricity. Other options include electric heat pumps. The heat pump has a big effect. According to the master plan, switching all vehicles in the world to electric will cut fossil fuel use by 21%, while switching all vehicles to heat pumps will cut use by 22%. Also, the cost of investing in a full switch to heat pumps is only $0.3 trillion, while the cost of investing in a full switch to electric vehicles is $7 trillion. What is a heat pump? And how does it work? It may seem strange, but a heat pump is an extremely efficient electric heater that doesn't make heat, it just moves it. It takes heat from outside your home and brings it inside, making it a great way to heat homes and businesses. It is said that the difference in energy between something hot and something cold is bigger than it really is. For example, the difference in temperature between the water in a pool and a person's body is bigger than it should be. But as they spend more time in the pool, the station of coal goes away because the heat energy in their body matches the energy in the water. The second law of thermodynamics backs this up, saying that heat always moves toward cold, which means that energy will always flow from denser to less dense substances. This natural law is used by heat pumps to move energy from outside the house to inside that house. Heat pumps don't move heat, they move a liquid called refrigerant. Refrigerant has a very low boiling point, which means it evaporates at room temperature. In the past, refrigerants were bad for the environment because they tore a hole in the ozone layer. However, newer refrigerants like R134 don't do as much damage. The compressor is the part of the heat pump that moves and squeezes the gaseous refrigerant, which raises the temperature and energy density. The hot gas is then pumped into the house through a wall-mounted blower system. The system has a fan that blows cool air over a coil of hot gas. The heat from the compressed gas moves into the room with the airflow. As the heat escapes into the house, the refrigerant cools down for its next job. To do this, the refrigerant needs to get even colder. So it flows through an expansion valve that quickly lowers the pressure and brings the temperature back down to where it is liquid again, which is usually around minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 30 degrees Celsius. The very cold liquid is then pumped to the heat pump's outside coil where it absorbs energy from the air outside. The refrigerant absorbs energy from the air outside, rises in temperature, boils into a gas, and is then squeezed to heat even more before being pumped into the house. Tesla's Model Y was the first car to have a heat pump. Before that, they used electric resistive. Every car is resistive heating, which sends energy from the battery into a coil of metal. Most electric cars use this method, which wastes a lot of energy and limits the range of the car. However, Tesla has taken a different approach with the Model Y, which uses a highly efficient heat pump to keep the cabin warm in cold weather. The heat pump works by using a refrigerant that quickly compresses and decompresses, raising and lowering its temperature. The heat energy from this process is then sent in the cabin through a wall-mounted blower system. It works very well and only needs 10 parts and 6.3 meters of hose, which is a lot less complicated and more effective than the Ford Mustang mach -E's heat pump system, which needs 35 parts and 18.4 meters of hose. Tesla engineers were inspired by the way that a circuit board is designed so that all of the necessary parts and connectors are built into a single piece. They wanted to use this idea to design the heat pump so that the whole heating system could fit into a single unit about the size of a basketball. The idea that electric vehicles can't work in cold places has been busted by this creative way of heating the inside of an EVs. The Model Y's heat pump is a great example of how committed Tesla is to new ideas and efficiency. It's no wonder that other car companies are having a hard time keeping up. The way we think about heating and cooling in electric cars is changing because Tesla has made a new, efficient heat pump. The metal used in the system's resistance concentrates energy, raising the temperature, and a fan blows cool air over the metal coil, sending the hot air into the car's cabin and reducing the range. However, Tesla's heat pump design solves this problem and is much more efficient than competing models, making electric cars more useful in cold places. Tesla's engineers were inspired by the design of a circuit board to make the octal valve, a small and efficient thermal system about the size of a basketball that lets the heat pump work backwards so there's no need for separate heating and cooling units. Then, they made a fully automatic system for making their heat pump that has a 99.995% success rate at high quality in. Let's them make one of their super manifolds every seven seconds. Tesla has hinted that they might make a home HVAC system with the same heat pump design as their electric cars. This could completely change how we heat and cool our houses. Elon Musk has said that the current heat pump design can be scaled up to heat a house or even a business. If Tesla can deliver the same level of efficiency and manufacturing scale at larger sizes, it could change the HVAC industry. The Tesla heat pump system is a groundbreaking innovation that has the potential to change how we heat and cool our cars and homes. The company's unique design and fully automated manufacturing system are setting a new standard in the industry. But with their dedication to innovation and environmental responsibility, Tesla could be the first company to lead the way in the switch to heat pumps.
Tesla's new master plan sees heat pumps as a key way to cut down on fossil fuel use and speed up the world's transition to sustainable energy. By using heat pumps for home and industrial heating, we can stop relying on natural gas and reach a sustainable future with more than more than enough energy to power our entire civilization. Thanks for watching our video on Tesla's new master plan for a sustainable future. As we saw, using heat pumps for home and industrial heating is just as important as using electric vehicles to cut down on fossil fuel use. Using a very efficient heat pump to heat and cool your home is a great example of Tesla's commitment to innovation and efficiency. It's no wonder that other companies are having a hard time keeping up with their groundbreaking ideas. Join us in our quest for a sustainable future and let's make the world better and greener once more. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next film.